Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to yet another gameplay. I'm your host, That Dragon Guy, and today we are back at Plague Inc. because the coronavirus is still going around and we still all have a possibility of dying. So let's look and watch as to how this virus could possibly kill us all. We're going to do that by playing Fungus. And see, the thing about Fungus is, if I remember correctly, it doesn't cost to, uh, you know, degrade it. Uh, de evolve it when it mutates so we're going to increase the chance of it mutating we have all of that we have all of that good 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 let's move on and let's go to normal cool we're gonna call it the intra killer just because we can let's go now like usual we're gonna start in Greenland because I start all my plagues here for some reason I do not know why it's pretty and it's white I don't know let's go Gotta destroy the pretty things first, and ice is kind of pretty as long as you shape it right, or it shapes right by nature. Who knows, let's just try to take out the world. So far, so good. We have seven DNA points. It is spreading ever so slowly, but I said it would, didn't I? And now we're just waiting for more DNA and for it to mutate so we can de-evolve it. So we need loads of DNA points for how slow this thing travels. So far, so good. We have 25. Let's go ahead and upgrade it to where it can travel by the water. There we go. It can now leave Greenland, hopefully. In a moment, we'll do it by air, which we have enough to get level 1 air now. There we go. It's awesome. We're going to make it to where it can speed up its infestation, but... As slow as it is at um, infesting, I'm probably going to end up just speeding up the video, so I'll probably end up being quiet um, in just a few minutes after we get this to where we need for it to infest most of the world. We're almost there. We just need a few more DNA points, and it needs to mutate a few more times, but the further it spreads, the more it'll mutate, hopefully. DNA is key, right? That's always the key. Let's go ahead and get that. In a moment, I'm going to make it have a burst to where it will spread to other countries. Like, pretty much like a promise, hopefully. DNA is coming in slow, the virus is spreading even slower. Gosh, this fungus is really bad at actually, like, um, infecting people. But, I mean, so far so good, I guess. Let's see. Let's do a native bomb, or a bomb so we go to another country. There we go. Cool, let's do one more. Cool. You know what? Screw it. Let's do another. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Something else we need to do is we need to make it more effective against antibiotics and whatnot. That's something I didn't think of until just now. So now it's starting to mutate. That's good. We'll get more DNA for this. Every time it mutates, we get two DNA. We'll be able to build it up and we'll be able to make it to where it can resist uh, this. Yeah. We just need 14 DNA points, so 7 more DNA points and we'll have it. I do believe this is the point where I'm going to speed it up. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Hope you're ready to see the world burn. We'll be back. We're going to speed it up now.
perfect. And we're back, and as you can see, pretty much the entire world is infected. There may be one or two people left, but most of them are infected, so now we need the perfect symptoms to take them all out. And the perfect symptoms is right there. Let's see how we do. Let's see how fast the world goes down with those symptoms in particular. There are no healthy people left in the world, it just told me. Everyone is going down fast, quick, fast, and in a hurry. They're fighting for the cure, but I doubt they're going to find the cure in time. Especially with my DNA constantly going up there, as you can see. People are dropping like flies. I don't even have to evolve anymore, I can pretty much just leave it where it's at and the world is going to be over. Let's see how many DNA points I finish, because there's no way they're going to finish the cure. No way. I mean, look at how, how fast it's going down. How high will you get the cure before it's over, guys? Oh, they might make it to 60. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, will they make it to 60? They did. 61. Oh, they're not going to make it much further. The world is almost at an end. They're going down quick, fast, and in a hurry. And this is what could happen if a uh, virus or disease or fungus or plague or whatever goes unchecked. Um, well... The world is slowly finishing off here. There's only, uh, what, 20, 25 mil people left, roughly. We got a lot of DNA points. We could just give them the symptoms from hell real quick and erase them in a flash, but we're just going to let it keep ticking down at the speed it's going. This is a nice leisurely speed as the lights dim in all the countries, as you can see, as the bright red turns dark. I only about a million five hundred people left. The cure only got to sixty-one percent. The world is slowly collapsing. Nothing is left standing. The only light still on is maybe a computer here or there. It's officially the fallout of the earth. And I was just talking bullshit, but they still haven't died, and I've run out of bullshit to talk, so uh, come on, finish the world off.
10,000 people left. We still got some DNA coming through. We're down to 1K, and the world is over in its victory. We are the champions. That took a long time, especially the last three countries. It's always the last three countries at the bottom of Africa. Angolia, uh, some other ones that I can't remember the name of right now, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell because I post every single day, and you surely want to be notified. All that being said, I've been your host, That Dragon Guy, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.